the curfews and everything started to ease up, I thought it'd be a really cool time for us to go and spend some time in Jay Bay. Not only for me to be able to surf, but for Lyndall to be able to have that relaxed mindset while she's pregnant during such a crazy time. We ended up getting a few really, really good swells. I try and get back to Durban as much as possible. I think the place you grow up and the style of waves that you grow up surfing definitely molds you into the type of surfer that you become. And that's what Durban's done for me. You know, those little beach breaks and um, running kind of sand bottom points. I think the surf city scene in Durban, the beach scene is really different than most places. Uh, obviously, you've got the massive city, which is right on the sand pretty much. And uh, yeah, you just kind of get all walks of life, a lot of different experiences. And um, I think you can grow up pretty fast, you know. So I was in Cape Town. I was just looking at the charts and basically just saw this east swell just lining up for Durban. The winds looked good, the tides looked good, the bank was good. And so I just decided to jump on a plane and bolt up there and uh, go get amongst it. The winds were a little funky in the morning. And I remember just kind of standing on this porch, checking it, checking it, checking it, trying to decide. Was I going to go to New Pier? Was I going to go to North Beach? As the morning went on, the conditions just started to get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And uh, yeah, it just was perfect, four to six feet.
when I initially took off on the wave, I thought, oh, this is going to be the wave of the day. And I uh, asked a friend if he was going to go. And in the very last minute, it was his turn. And he said, no, no, no. So I spun and went. And pulled into the barrel. And the next thing, saw the doggy door, saw a little light. Try to squeak out. And as I try to squeak out, the whole lip just landed right on the side of me. And I just fell, hit the deck. It was kind of like this loud crack. In my mind, immediately, I just was like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Just kind of paddle it off, you'll be fine. Try to stand up with the next two, three waves and just knew at that moment that something had happened. So I went to the beach, kind of hobbled up the sand, told my filmer, hey, look, I think this thing's done. I think I really realized it was serious when I woke up the next morning and could barely walk. When I woke up the next morning and realized I had to get surgery, everything kind of sunk in. After missing the Olympics, it just fueled the fire even more. I think at that moment, I just started putting my head down and working really, really hard on, on recovery every waking second.